Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 15 of our slow and methodical playthrough of Songs of Conquest. We're playing through the third campaign, playing for the Loth faction, and we're in the fourth and final mission uh, on overwhelming difficulty. This is part three, and this is the second attempt of our yeah of, of tackling the this this fourth mission. So let's pick up where we left off at the end of the previous episode. We're on round 24. We need to get a move on with getting more resources, but mainly more settlements as well, so that we can get more troops. Um, so yeah, Brother Hiller was pushing to the right here, so let's go ahead and see what's out there. I mean, the other option here, we do have a beacon of power here and some Rana, so if we could push through, but I really don't think that we can. We need to upgrade these troops first, and then we can punch through the Barians here, although it's risky. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm actually... Yeah, I do think it is a bit too risky. Let's find where is uh, this lady. So she's just opened up a way here for us. And we do have... So this is her stack. Oathbound, a couple of these and that. A uh, couple of toxicologists and some legionaries. Yeah, um, we have a much smaller stack with Brother Hiller. So, hmm. Let's go ahead and... Just get plus three offense from this Aurelian statue. Touching the stone of this ancient statue fills visiting wielders with power. And then, we can pretty much, we could get to the orchard. Um, what do we have? We have six toxicology and six legionnaire, region, legionnaires. We also have 40 oathbound now that we can upgrade. Um, so I would suggest we go to the orchard, pick that up. Then we get reinforcements and then we go to Brother Hiller. That's really like this is this is what lost us the run last time. She spent way too long like walking around. Mm. Although arguably, mm. I mean, we will spend our resources smarter this time, and you know actually upgrade our units to tier two. But I mean, really, it's take, taking taking a bit too long. But I guess we're gonna have to take this risk and just just go along with it. The thing is, this will always stay um, I feel like the top of the map is, is where the enemy is coming from and they will uh, they will gather up the resources right that is just lying about so I'm sorry if we switch back to uh, Ambertina here let's go ahead and pick up these barrier glasses for a bit of extra vision we obviously can't go through the dragons here we can't even go through here but we could just quickly grab this burning okay Hang on. The stories did not do justice to the size and power of living, breathing dragons. These creatures were an unwelcome reminder of the thousands who lost their lives when Aurelia arrived in Patreon. I have studied every account of how Murkoth and Aurelia defeated the dragons and how my research and now my research has paid off. But from now on, others will read my accounts of how to defeat dragons. Yeah, maybe not so fast. Let's just grab this burnt building. No survivors remain, but we find two wood, two gold, 400. Two wood, two stone, and 400 gold. Uh, this is risky, so we don't want to fight these guys. This is also risky. I would suggest we just get the idol here, for which we get ancient amber. Uh, we can't even get over here. Right, we have the reflecting pools here. Can we perhaps get the settlement? That would be, oh, that would be great for us. So we can get the third settlement sort of for free. I know we can't really hold it, but let's just grab all the resources we can and keep moving. Yeah, meanwhile, we take Brother Hiller. Grab this Aurelian Milestone. Milestone shows the way, plus two movement. Uh, our rumble of Oathbound. Hopefully they join us. Bound by Oath. Bound to conquer. I am a wielder of Aurelia's grace. Join me to claim the beacons and rebuild the Empire. We, we gladly serve. Bound to conquer. Nice. Yes. Mass move. Nice. Almost a whole stack. Alright. Let's get some stone. Forgotten grave. The heavy, the heavy lid is slowly pushed to the side. Plus three ancient ember. Uh, let's get this looted cart. 600 gold. One wood. Already in statue. Should give us plus three offense. Touching the stone of this ancient statue. Fills visiting wielders with power. Um... The rats gathered near as if they too could feel her presence. As if they too, yeah. Hiller cleared his throat. My kin, Dr. Murjata has taken my oath. She has seen 
she has seen dragons and been bested by rhino wielders. Bah, she's not a real doctor. She used to be a toxicologist. Kin, the rhino are a great threat. You must seize the beacons to be able to defeat them all, to stop them. These dragons, where have they been hiding? Inside the Rana, they evolve. That's why we try to eradicate the Ethra. To always keep the Rana down. But our plans failed, and they have awoken with great rage. Great rage, you say? Don't worry. You've granted us great strength, and we will deal with them. I worry not for you, my kin. I must go to seek my other wielders. All must know of the threat. Other wielders? Um, and she disappears. Um... Hmm. It's Celestial Overmine here. Harima soldiers. Well, we go south. Oh, prison soldiers here. I mean, I do like the mine because the earlier we get it, the more we get out of it. Harima soldiers, simple. Coterie of brutes and assassins. Okay, let's go ahead and just manual battle punch through them. <clears throat> I'm going to move this guy. Just, oh, that was a bad idea. That's exactly what I didn't. I didn't want to block that. Oh, oh, that was bad. That was really, really bad. Oh, why did I do that? Sing songs. Sing Aurelia's praises. What is it called again? I keep forgetting Aurelia's eternal. If we can push this guy back to stop him from coming at us. Um, come in here. Oh, he can actually reach us now. So again, sorry guys, just loaded up the game. I'm a little bit rusty. Can we? Yeah, it's only one of them. Um, but this toxicologist should be able to take care of this guy. Let's just tell him so that next time he can only come quite close, but not close enough. Meanwhile, we take care of the Sassanids. Um, let's just move up with the Scholar. Yep, okay. Um, Gonna come up here and defend just in case we do have to attack. Uh, this wolfbound can just stay where they are, I think. Really eternal, really eternal. We got 84 damage, 70. Go ahead and just get these guys. That was bad, but I think we should be able to just kill him. Yeah, that was a bit bad because we moved, uh, yeah, moved into position for him to attack us, even though we didn't have to. <clears throat> okay, and now troops lost. That was an XP for that. It's not bad. Bubbling pot. Let's try and get the celestial. Oh my! Come on, celestial. Oh mine, we're out of movement. Hmm. Okay. Okay, is there anything to build in ourselves? We need to get rid of this trading post, I think. Get rid of the trading post and start building a mausoleum. I think so. Yeah. This is already tier 2, yes. What about this? We do have a small, a large, and a medium build site. Okay, we really do need to get on with another mausoleum here, I think. This would do. So let's build another mausoleum to start getting those troops. <clears throat> Here is probably going to be a rally point. <clears throat> this is probably going to be a summoning circle. Uh, I don't want to build it yet because even... Well... Maybe it was smart to actually build that. Hmm. Fine. It is what it is now. I was thinking, like, is it better to er build it early even though you don't have the money to buy the legions, but just have them keep accumulating, and then when we have enough money, we buy them all, <clears throat> given you only have plus one per turn, per round? Or is it better to build the 
mausoleum and I guess yeah let's build the cheaper guys first and upgrade them to tier 2 I feel like you get more sort of power you know out of having tier 2 lower tier 2 stacks rather than have this stack of you know tier 3 effectively um because you're not going to get a lot of them anyway okay so let's continue with uh, magnolia Chart for hit the orchard for a bit of cash then we can get up here upgrade troops 7,000 well a third of our budget um, we need 15 wood for the veins wow hmm okay well we could just clear this out on our way <coughs> excuse me so we could clear that out because Brother Hill is just going to have to uh, d do whatever he can with what he's got. Uh, let's clear this out. There's a good amount of stuff here. Um, hmm. Interesting. I'll take this another turn. I feel like we're wasting, just spending way too much time. Let's get the Celestial Ore. Get the abandoned cart. Uh, and I guess get the wood. Get those veins. That would be really nice. Uh, we can always go come back. Uh, interesting. Abandoned cart. Okay, more gold. Scroll is turn. Only dragon bones can conduct the transfer of essence on this scale. The remains of the fallen tree. Tree mothers will shield the beacons, allowing the wielder to focus their power without spilling over to those nearby. There were a few accidents before we got it working. <laughs> Coral Lightbringer. Okay, plus one offense, defense, one movement. Okay, risky upon the run at troops as one of protectors and borrowers. Um, actually, I think what's best to do is to get this beacon because we can travel between them. Oh, what is this? Fair. Okay, let's try and clear this out teleport ourselves over here while uh, Magnolia clears this little piece then we can exchange troops send Hiller back out here uh, right to continue I think there yeah there is a settlement here most likely we can punch through here and come across through here and then cut back down through these troops mm, yeah I feel like that's a, that's a good option yeah we're kind of we're gathering resources which is important, but we also need to like build things. Okay. Large farmhouse. Okay, can we claim this? Challenging. Yeah, many pikeneers, musketeers, and ballistas. So we can't really do anything about this. Unfortunately, with uh, this lady, we can claim, however, everything. <coughs> Get all the resources. That's very nice. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're getting mausoleums constructed. So not much else for us to do. Tricky. Very tricky. Okay. Got the mausoleums. Let's go ahead and just get all of this. The granary. Merchants keep their goods here. They pay for what they owe. So 600. Okay, more gold. Why can't we? Okay. Get the pile of gold. Get the gold mine. Get this horde of wolves. Um. Yeah, if we could get them, except we are going to probably suffer some casualties. I feel like uh, Ambertine is kind of doomed anyway. Although, is she? Could we just punch through? Yeah, we could punch through these guys now. I mean, that will open up the way for any enemy that comes through. But to be honest, if they do come through with a stack, these drifts aren't really going to be a problem for them anyway. Um, yeah, unfortunately... <clears throat> oh, we also forgot to grab this pile of gold. Mm, fine. Um, hmm. Okay, let's get these. Let's get this first of all upgraded. Can we? Two thousand five ember. Okay, let's get this going. Okay, now we have. <coughs> Got the tier two units going, specters and scavenged bones. Scavenged bones are good, they're tanky. Right, they have unlimited retaliations, I believe. 
We just need to upgrade them to tier 2 as well, but we need a stoneworks in the city. Uh, and we have a timber mill. Interestingly, I think once we upgrade it, we can just remove it. Okay, we need more wood to, to have more toxicologists. don't even have the money to get all of them to be veins. Hmm. Very interesting. Perhaps then Magnolia needs to punch through here, take this settlement just for the extra money. Um, Healer punches through here, teleports, gets himself stronger. I mean, he's going to be the one You know, very soon the enemy is going to come for us. We need gold. For gold, we need more settlements. Alright, that's what we really need. Anyway, your brother healer needs to take this and teleport back. Because he's either going to have to buy troops himself and upgrade troops. Or he'll have to meet up with someone. But either way, he needs to be back for a second. Take a breather. Uh, maybe... Yeah, gather up some of this. Uh, maybe he can actually, Brother Healer will take this little piece. Um, while, yeah, Magnolia maybe go heads north. Yeah, I think maybe that, that's the way. Okay, let's go ahead. We have Banes here, so these drifts shouldn't be, shouldn't, keyword, shouldn't be an issue. Um, big issue. They are going to charge at us. We need our veins to uh, I think they move up quite a bit further so I'm gonna put them here so that they get onto the high ground uh, while these guys don't move as far so I, I will put them out here uh, in front of that high ground and try to block these drifts off uh, Yeah, we will have another turn to get over here. So, that's kind of fine. Do this. Meanwhile, okay, we can't step up quite over here, but mm, not much we can do here either. we can do these guys retaliate before they are hit right that's that's the drafts right yeah quick so we don't really want uh, okay these guys are gonna move up here uh, this these gentlemen can uh, go here and then go here and defend here and defend step forward and take a shot um, yeah these these are the danger because these are not blocked off by zone of control so I'm gonna take these out as a priority um, 60 damage. Two, can only kill two of those. Unfortunately, minus 50% damage. Um, okay. Get some of these. 50% damage on this guy. This guy. Take the damage, I've got so much defense. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <coughs> To retaliate, can't believe it. Complacency. Uh, be that. It's gonna be that. A little bit unfortunate. I don't think we could have avoided that, but it was a little bit unfortunate that we lost what four or five legionnaires. Six even. Ouch. 
Um, okay. Hmm. Not gonna make it to the settlement anyway. She could almost make it. I mean, this is not going to go away anywhere. It's just we take the settlement ASAP and then we come back and deal with this if we have to. Meanwhile, Ambertina is not really doing much for us here anyway. Is she though? Or is she? Um, so should she fight or should she just go and gather up all the free stuff here? Another pile of gold we just left there. Um, I think she should just go and scout, to be honest, get all the free stuff as quickly as we can. Okay, on to Brother Hill. Let's get this Aurelian Milestone. I do want to get these while we're here. Simple threat. Right, let's just deal with them. They are going to be annoying, aren't they? They're going to be annoying. Oh no, these are borrowers, aren't they? No, that's fine. Yeah, these, these these are not the no, they're not borrowers. Though. These are crawlers. Yeah, they're gonna crawl. And crawling is fine with me. Um, okay, they're gonna. Can we actually? I think they're going to kind of get us anyway next turn. So let's go ahead and just stand here. Or maybe stand here. Let's stop that from happening. Thing, thing. Oh, why did we have this guy all the way down there? Ah. Oh. need the double shot to be honest. I'm gonna have to spend mana on this guy. Let's try and take out this stack. Um, it's gonna be momentum. Um, hmm. If he comes here he will actually, well they shouldn't, they shouldn't be able to come. Aggression. And we, uh, these guys are gonna get attacked. So let's try it. Oh, that was a waste. That was a waste. Yeah, just gonna get on the high ground. I think that was avoidable. it for these crawlers oh but this grants vigor beyond belief nice pouch gold pouch bear tinkerers musketeers and sassanids yeah. mm. let's just quick save just in case I don't want to waste time needlessly um yeah Barian workers and soldiers had set up camp near this beacon. As Brother Hiller approached, they gathered, ready for battle. Stop. We have to protect this beacon at all costs. Wonderful. We've found another one. Please stand aside. We didn't work for so long to give these away. We won't be joining your empire. Our ancestors fought to leave it and will fight to stay out of it. Fine. Okay, so we're kind of bu bunched up there. If we can get onto this high ground with our toxicologist, that would be nice. And this guy up front. This sir uh, up front. Um, this guy kind of up front. So that's the way. Kind of like this. Wonder who's gonna get the first turn. Who has higher initiative? Now musketeers have very low initiative. Assassinids. Assassinids are in play. Um, this guy doesn't even care about zone of control. Enemies, oh no, enemies can't retaliate. No, sorry, he does care about zone of control though. Um, Skittiers will shoot. Uh, 
This guy he can reach pretty much anybody, but they will be they will be under attack. Let's put this guy in front, I guess. Um Enemies can't retaliate, so he can actually walk around. Whereas if we, but I don't want to. Yeah, we can walk up close to him to stop him from moving. But I think we'll kill him anyway. Whereas musketeers are going to take a shot, and I don't want them to be within kill range without moving. Um, yeah, I guess. Boom. This is the way. I do want to hit the musketeers with something. I can. Okay. Some momentum at least. 84 damage. We could get seven of them. Not bad. Um, yeah. I, do wanna, I do wanna get up here on the next turn, so that is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, he's gonna oh no, he didn't move. It's fine, too. It's fine. Never mind, he's gonna have to reload as well. So that's perfectly fine for us. Get this guy. Um yeah, we can come up next to our legionnaires. Legionnaires, do we wanna hit them? So mm. they come up forward and just defend. These skeletons are going to uh, yeah, get closer to the musketeers. They are really eternal. Six to eight of these. Nice. And uh, yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to do much, if I'm honest. But these guys aren't going to do anything at all, so we can almost kill them, but let's just... First of all, just hit these for another eight, yeah. Let's make sure these guys do absolutely nothing. Yeah, there we are. Oh. Nine to ten. Six of them. Finish them off. Boom. Nice. And again, this was, I mean, it said fair, but it depends on how you play. We only lost, what, yeah, two oathbound from the musketeer shot. Very much worth it. Hmm, new level. There you go, first battle round. All your troops gain plus two troop movement. Like, to close in with their musketeers and with the banes. Your troop skin, yeah, I think, let's say Eager. I'm gonna take Eager this time. Ancient Ember. With our, like, Legionnaires, like all the, especially tier 3 units, on our Spectres, we could just fly, like, right in, into their face, so to speak. Nice, we got a beacon. Um, let's go ahead and teleport. Nice. Take on these guys, right? We could even upgrade our Oathbound to Legionnaires first. And even buy some more legionnaires um, just to but I think we can take these wolves and everything we can just we can just take them I think so yeah, let's not waste time let's just get on with it um, what do we need buildings we need 15 wood we're getting four per turn so right we need stoneworks here and here we need also stoneworks, oh, which we're not really going to get, are we? But we can always buy with a rally point, buy these specters and scavenge bones and then upgrade them here. It's just annoying. Um, maybe a fair bit of resources, huh? Really annoying. I don't. I don't want to lose one of these for sure. Nah, it was, I find this system a little annoying because we could build the stoneworks, upgrade this, and then delete the stoneworks. So now we just—it's just frustrating because we could 
I just need to destroy this. Ugh, and we can't upgrade it. Required buildings. Uh, yeah, it's just annoying to be honest. But there we are, around 26. We've done all we could, so let's end that here. Okay, so Brother Hiller, where do we clear this little piece, get the resources that we need? Well, do we need them? There's gold. I mean, we do. The thing is, we do. We need gold. We need stuff. All kinds. Um, we have 27 legionnaires, so we could upgrade our legionnaires. We could even stack these as two and just get way more legionnaires. Right? Put these. And get some of these. These are stacks of 40. Sorry, I didn't actually notice that. I thought it was 20, yeah. Um, okay. Well, we don't even have enough gold now. Hmm. So first of all, split these again. Uh, maybe these. Let's also split them. Um, and go ahead and deal with the, the brigands. Uh, many brigands, many poachers. Okay, so they are going to shoot at us. Let's get this guy like out front. This guy. Hmm. Should have actually maybe used the AI resolve. Uh. have the initiative so not really necessary to uh, do much for us it's just come yeah could come even closer right, we should be able to kill these Fairly quickly, anyway. Three, three minutes. Just get these. Just stack out of the game. Two of these. Come on. Ha! <laughs> Couldn't even get one of uh, the risen. This is uh, rather embarrassing. He wrote. It's gonna be that. Oh, I still can't reach him, really. Or he's <clears throat> just teleport him a couple more hexes and finish this off. B, got some of this. Okay, let's keep getting these resources. Magnolia needs to head to this town. Let's just make sure it's not too much for her to take on. Hmm. So it should be okay. Definitely going to take casualties here, unfortunately. Unless his ballistas start shooting at our legionaries. Nope. Oh. Oh. Really frustrating. Okay. At least we're going to give our like legionaries some defense. And they should be able to, yeah. Just end this stack. Let's 
Boom. Oh, six. Oh, two. Wow. Um, 12 to 17. Yeah, I guess it's actually we should not have done that. We should have left it for this stack. Oh, at least here we can do justice, judgment. Yes, that. Hmm. Yeah, not. Couldn't really have done more, but frustrating to lose some banes. Quite a lot as well, probably about 8, 12, 12 banes. Um, yeah, fine. Convert. Um. Hmm, okay, this lady, let's get these, get the glimmer weave, because we don't have any income for it. Get these stone, oh yeah, that's pretty much all we can get here. Get this crumbling monument. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of resources. Really unfortunate we can't upgrade this, really annoying if I'm honest. Because you can, you know, like as I mentioned, you can remove the building that's required for this thing to be upgraded after you upgrade. So it's just tedious, I think. Can't be worth it. It's Essence Leech. Command, I guess. Another beacon here, which is good. So let's just control the central part of the map. A little bit of free stuff here. Magnolia needs another round to convert the settlement. Otherwise, let's get the pouch of gold, pumpkin pot, bandit hideout fight. Uh, yeah, we should be okay. We just need one stack to reach these guys. Put our veins in the middle so they can shoot at anyone they want. And then put this guy in here so he can just block these two off. Something like this, perhaps, or even like this, perhaps. Even like this, perhaps. As always, yeah, let's just put these guys here to just block these off. Uh, this man can just seven to ten. Let's get some momentum. Yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, that was such a big mistake. Ah, oh, why? Why am I so stupid? Frankly, obviously now he's free. No, I know actually no. No, it wasn't a mistake. Sorry, I, I thought we left him to move through and like, kill one of these guys. But actually, it's fine. He just gets the risen. Ooh, oh, as I was talking. <sighs> Just needs to stop talking and focus. There's absolutely no reason, no need for that. Oh, sorry, guys. Although I probably could have used some spell ah, on those guys. Fine. That's what you get. Every little bit matters on this map. 2,000 gold, 5 wood, 5 stone. So we got risen now. Okay, tackle these wolves. Uh, let's try a quick battle, just this once. Not just this once, actually, we need to. Yeah, there we are. Let's... Gonna be it for the wolves. Yeah, okay. It's nice, let's get back here. Um, let's get the banes. Rolling. Let's get mausoleum. Okay, again, need stoneworks. Um, yeah, so as I mentioned, we should have done that earlier, actually. Let's get the said stoneworks and then we'll remove them. Summoning circle. Library of Aurelia. Actually, Received 1200 gold. I'll do this because this is definitely a spot for the rally point. We can actually get the stoneworks on this side because it doesn't matter where the rally point is, uh, and that's a better location for it. Okay, we're approaching round 30, and we only have two settlements. Whereas I think if we played better, we could have gotten this one and that one by now. Mm. This one. 
not really gonna do much for us although the trading post is nice guard tower is all right okay let's get first of all ambertina free stuff we can which is not much um hmm Come back here. Maybe we'll trade the troops and see what we can get. If we fought through here with uh, this lady, fair challenge, we could get this beacon. We could actually teleport back to sort of here, sort of our base, if you want. If you can call it, yeah, like our territory, and then walk. Although it's probably shorter to just walk straight down. Um, and upgrade the mausoleum. Definitely get a rally point going as well. Um, hmm. I think there is this little piece here. What's next? We need to get a big stack with Brother Hiller because he's gonna go into enemy territory. He's gonna teleport back, go into enemy territory, gather up resources, take that settlement. And just get, yeah. Maybe maybe they could meet here and create one doom stack because we need one very strong, which is going to be Hiller because he's the one who's with nine command and level sixteen. It's going to be him. We need to get him like a massive stack, um, but he needs to upgrade his toxicologists. Yeah, so I think he needs to take a trip to the laboratory. Uh, can he even upgrade though? Uh, um, well, he's out of movement anyway, so it's fine. So let's just move him a little bit closer. He can maybe buy some other troops or upgrade next turn. Let's see. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Would be nice to get the Sanctum as well, but for that we need to upgrade this thing. And we need 40 stone, 50 wood, 8,000 gold. Not impossible. It's gonna take a while to get that. Hmm. Okay. okay, next turn, Brother Hiller gets a bit of more of an army and then goes back, gets out here. Meanwhile, Magnolia should probably claim this beacon and just get into this area, start exploring. This is expedition. All of this stuff is nice to get, but I want to get this beacon, to be honest. Really and genuinely want to. Let's get these veins together. These, oh. these nest stacks. What is she? What can she offer us? Uh, Magnolia. I mean, she can punch through here, I think. You must be Magnolia Silverlink. You look just like your mother, and she was a champion of our cause. Let me personally welcome you to the Unseen Society. My thanks, and you are? I am Ambertina. Has Hiller not told you about me? He has not. He spends more time talking to his rats than conversing with me. He's a strange one, but his research and knowledge has unlocked many secrets. Indeed, getting to know him has been a challenge, but meeting you has been inspiring. I'm always glad to meet the faithful together for her okay okay um no Leon. Oh, still fair lots of hunters things we're gonna have to do melee mm, yeah we really need the beans She has a bit of movement. We... Let's go ahead and do a quick save. If we could get in here with you know, sort of low, very low casualties, it would be worth it. No more. We shall be slaves no more. We didn't enslave you. Go back to your swamps. No, humans always lie. We're not afraid. The rider has come. And from what I recall, it's been kind of a couple of months now, since I played the Rana, I think these guys have high initiative and they move fairly far. So we're going to need to take some shots with these veins. 
we can sacrifice the Risen, that would be really good. Otherwise, maybe these guys can get some high ground as well. Hmm. Not sure this lady has a lot of magic either. Oh, man! Four stacks of 60. You're kidding me. Alright, let's try and sacrifice the Risen as much as we can. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll be able to come around here. Yeah, we're gonna close in on the next turn anyway, so let's. Yeah, no, okay, now we can quite reach us, which is great. Don't wanna go all the way up there. I can only come up to here, so I don't know if our veins move here or here, I guess. Uh... Unfortunately, our Banes have much lower initiative than these guys, so... Uh, these guys will actually go in here and block us off. So will this guy will come here and block the other two stacks off. And so... Yeah. And I actually want this guy to block them off for as long as possible. Because um, they're going to start moving around. So I don't want this guy necessarily to get killed. Yeah, I want this stack. Maybe just funnel them in here. Okay, let's try and get on top of here, maybe. Um, I'd, yeah, I'd rather have our Risen hit. Although if, they, if this stack of 65 kills them, they're going to gain momentum. But I don't think there is any avoiding that, so I'm just going to step up here, and that means he will have to hit them. Is there anything we can do to help them now? It's 5 initiative. If we gave 5 initiative, they would have 30. That would be on par. Can we give our veins some initiative? this okay they will shoot earlier and that is better okay this guy actually got some initiative um this guy will come around so let's go ahead and step up and defend so we're just gonna take a hit Oof. yeah well these guys are gonna have to go all the way around now very nice very very nice 60 i'm gonna save the mana this guy here because hmm oh, is that a good idea though so this stack is gonna run if we push them back though maybe we have the mana otherwise they're gonna either gonna kill these guys we can step up step back with these guys though but they will also come around no, actually they actually can't reach anyone if we just step away so let's just keep these guys defending here. If the Risen go down, we'll step into their place. Yeah, that's very, very nice. Um, 30 stack is going to hit us. Um, we're going to have to attack these guys anyway, so I'm going to whittle these guys down so they do as little damage. Then we retaliate and get kill the stack and gain momentum. It says 21 to 30. I guess we did get a good roll there. Um, hmm. So we can repel. This guy can still reach us, though. How about we step away? He can still reach us. Bastard. Um, hit him. And that's fine. We're going to be here next turn. Let's go ahead and repel. Right. This guy can't reach anybody. This guy... Yeah, they can't even reach this guy, so. This is gonna. Yeah, so this stack of 58 is gonna kill these Risen. Then this guy will step up. So he's still blocking the way. Which is fantastic. Um, but we definitely wanna repel these. 
Yep, now they're all kind of away. We're just gonna stand with the, with this guys. Yeah, they're gonna take the toxic damage. Die. Step up here. Defend the 66 guy. Yeah, it's just gonna waste time. Perfect for us. Again, step up. Defend. This guy is again gonna. Ooh, that's a bit of a miscalculation, I think, because. <laughs> Let's just come up here. Ooh, I mean, yeah. Hmm. Bit of a miscalculation, if I'm honest, because it's. I mean. Let's see, maybe we deal with them with spells, maybe. Not sure, actually. Um, we'll go out here. Can he reach us? Yes, he can. Oh. Okay, the 66 is going to hit us. Let's give them all friendly range troops get plus one attack. Uh, the 20 is going to act afterwards, so that's not really going to help us. Oh, well, this is really powerful for us. Hmm. Right. 66, though, we do want to... I would reduce their damage, though. That's also something very nice for us. Let's go ahead and hit these guys. Reduce their initiative. Yep. Oh, the 66 is going to hurt. Although... Um, momentum. I think he's gonna. Oof, nah, I only got two. And we got momentum as well, so that's nice. Um, yeah, let's see. there you are. Wow. Lucky. No, not lucky. We did play that well. And I didn't actually expect a few of those things to happen. I didn't think through them. But. Fortune. Okay, with us. Let's go ahead and okay, walk in here and end the round here. Okay, we didn't actually do anything with the settlement though. Oh, Christ. Stay here. We need to oh yeah, that was bad of me. It's bad because all I'm thinking about is the fact that we're coming up on the hour, so uh Let's end this part three here. I think we're in decent shape. Definitely could have played quite a few things better. And you see by round 30, those small mistakes, they do snowball. So we'll probably have another 10 rounds or so before we start facing enemy wielders. Uh, not really sure how that's gonna go. But let's see in the next episode. Uh, for now, I guess, thanks for watching guys. And yeah, see you in the next episode where it's gonna be I think it's going to become clear whether we defeat enemy wielders and start snowballing or we have to start over <laughs> because we'd lose again. But uh, we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you in the next episode. Bye for now.